Now, uh, let's go up to Scotland. Uh, hit. Hooray! <laughs> Three cheers, champagne. Well done, J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling, well done. out of the go country on, uh, when Hamza Youssef, the SNP's hated new hate laws, uh, came in. These are laws that will make uh, you uh, break the law if you're sitting at your own dinner table in your own house. And, somebody and happen to say, yeah. a woman can't have yeah. male genitalia. Yeah, so, mm. uh, so J.K. Rowling's, no. JK no. Rowling is abroad. Uh, you know, she's a, 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 a long-time campaign for women's rights and she said uh, all these Scottish trans women uh, most of them in prison are blokes they're men uh, this is my tweet what are you gonna do about Come it get me well, what are you gonna do about it arrest me <laughs> she put at the end then she came back in or she I'm not sure if she's back in Scotland yet but the Scottish police to their credit mm. have had a look at these tweets and said there is nothing criminal here yeah. so what is this hate law for well, this so it is turns it. out we that were... yeah in Scotland you still can't, can go up to a trans woman say you're a bloke in a dress well can you I mean we were discussing this yesterday what's going to happen because if JK Rowling becomes the test case and she's sort of arrested by police and handcuffed and taken to a police station for this the pictures that would go out around the world would make scotland look more mental than north korea it really would be so damaging to the scottish government so this hasn't happened but now of course it means that she set a precedent very cleverly done by jk and has actually confirmed this on twitter by saying look you can call trans women, women blokes, men, blokes. because they are, and you're not going to get arrested for it. So yeah. uh, it does sort of make the law look ridiculous and porous, and I actually do encourage all women out there who don't want to play the game anymore, you don't have to play the pro pronoun game. No one's decided, God didn't decide, I don't know who sits on high and comes up with this new morality, but it's not my morality, and I'm not going to follow it. So if I see a jock and a fuck, that's a jock and a fuck. It's not a woman, and I'm going to carry on doing that because that's just stating the truth. You have to be careful with jocks in the frock because it could be a bloke in a kilt. Well, that is so, also, so, uh, yeah. You have, well, you have to be very careful. Out in there. Scotland, but, but that is very true. J seriously, J.K. Rowling has also said, <laughs> I will defend any woman. She said, any normal... Yeah. This is the wrong phrase, but, you know, she's a massive celebrity. Yeah. So, but she's going to defend low-profile women who want to say the same as her. That is that a trans woman is not a woman. Yeah. A trans woman is a male. Uh, that is a fact. And this ridiculous law looked as if it was going to ban people from saying the biological truth. So far, uh, J.K. Rowling has said that, and guess what? She's not <clears> in <throat> trouble. So hopefully that applies to every woman, indeed every person in Scotland, that yep. you can go up to a trans woman and say you're, as you said, a jock in a frock, a, and, bloke, a bloke in a skirt. And if they come after you, the old smuck fuzz up there, then don't worry because uh, J.K.'s uh, massive mm. amounts of money from selling all those Harry Potter books is going to be there for you. And, and I, would say, I would say, well well, we're, we're, we're going to talk about football in a minute. So, uh, so far the score, ladies and gentlemen, is J.K. Rowling 1, Humza useless, nil. Uh, now I think it's 2-0 because our colleague at hey. uh, Talk Sport, a uh, brilliant former footballer, Ali McCoist, uh, Rangers star, of course, played for Scotland, a uh, great broadcaster here at TalkSport. He said on TalkSport uh, yesterday, he said, uh, this is ridiculous uh, because this hate law uh, we've got coming up on Sunday, Celtic versus Rangers, the famous old firm derby, one of the most famous derby matches in the whole world where the whole of Glasgow uh, comes together to celebrate this match. Well, the, the rivalry between Rangers and Celtic fans, obviously there's a sectarian element to this, is bitter and uh, legendary. And Ali McCoy says from the, way, the moment that whistle goes at the beginning of the game, both sets of fans will launch into their traditional stream of sectarian chants, all of which, he says, will definitely break yeah. Humza Yousaf's I mean, hate yeah. laws. So he said, if you come to Ibrox on Sunday, then you're going to have to arrest me and 48,000 other football fans. Yeah. So, I mean, this is the problem with this ridiculous legislation where you turn around and say certain words, if someone finds it offensive, if someone takes umbrage at it, if someone wants to just, I don't know, stir up trouble against you by saying they find it offensive and take umbrage at it, um, then, you know, it, it, it's pointless, it's porous, it's not going to work, especially when you think of football chants. There's years of legacy heritage football chants, rugby chants, it's what you do at a sports match, no one takes yeah, but, it seriously, it's all in the nature well, they, of the game. Yeah, but at, at Rangers and Celtic matches, the chanting does take on a different kind of hue. But everyone knows it, it, it does. It's, it always has Grown and ups. it always will yeah, and everybody enjoys, them, they enjoys themselves at that match and so as Ali 
Charlie McCoy's quite rightly Ain't points no. out. What are you going to do about it, Hamza? 48,000 football fans on Sunday are going to break your ha your ridiculous hated hate laws, just like J.K. Rowling uh, broke them, allegedly. Uh, so what are your hate laws about? Who do they protect? Are they in any way fit for purpose? I don't think so. I think you're an idiot, Yousef, an absolute sinister, repressive, illiberal idiot. Well, there you go. Should we listen to what Ali McCoy's has to say? Uh, I'm not sure we've got Ali no, we're McCoy's, not going to hear Ali McCoy's, but I think you summed it up uh, yeah, quite well. Yeah. Do you know you're louder in this studio? I know. I, I, I just, <laughs> I'm making up for a lack death. of Ali. I'm making up for a lack honestly, of Ali. Honestly, it's sort of reverberating. Yeah. Both of my ears are starting to bleed. Well, I'm going to be chanting football songs on Sunday. Uh, right, uh, like, this, this.